Alana Returns. Now I have played, I have played a little bit, um, to refresh my refresh myself and to get an idea of what's going on in the world. So we are currently at peace with the orange here, as far as I can tell. It seems like the, every time I go into this world, it's different. Okay, this is the same. So let's get involved in this squabble, since we're allies with these people. And we need to build relations, especially considering the fact that we've been raiding them <laughs> a lot lately. So, um, yeah. So Augustus and my, like, freaking sick new armor. Gonna be charging into battle. Uh, Imra, or Imara, I think it's Imra. Imira? <laughs> Imira leading the way, one of our soldiers, one of our new recruits. Let me try to. I change. There we go. I've st I'm still catching up on some of the controls, okay? Again, it is still... It is occasionally better to go for a... A, a thrust rather than couching. Are they on the run? Oh, it's just the one guy. Nice easy battle. Good to see you here, Olana. Now let's let us stir Okay, now let's strip their dead and leave them for the crows, so that all will know the fate of those who come against us. I agree, Clannis. Uh, I will take I will take prisoners because I figured out that taking prisoners doesn't slow you down. Um, what does slow you down is nighttime. <laughs> The, the so this order this order shouldn't affect anything so Emira here we're gonna move our, our girl Katrine back up to her rightful place we're gonna move Mathel down just because she's hurt and um, move Emir Emira and Deshavi up if you remember Deshavi is our first our first um, companion. Move these people down. And I'll keep the cavalry in the back. I need to keep... I don't remember if I'm still running the quest for the surgeons or not. I'm not 100% sure. But we will control click these. That'll just be to sell and we will we will depart I think I might go to Praven and drop some gold in the tavern if I can if it's not just a castle Mercenary Cavalry. I really don't have space. Okay, greetings. If you have any prisoners, I'll happy to buy them from you. Uh, then you'd better bring your purse. I've got prisoners to sell. Four bannets, 50 each. Not worth a whole lot. Um, 
It's looking like the best way to get money is tourneys and by pillaging. Uh, books are still probably out of our price range, but we will buy booze for everyone. I think it's worth the gold and hopefully bring up my relationship with this. Um, holy crap. Three people for 1,500. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to say no. Oops. Okay, there we go. So we'll go ahead and go to any of the merchants and sell. And then... I think we're going to go to, I am tempted to buy a war bow, damage 25, like not being able to buy, not being able to use a crossbow on a back on these big ones, just like Unless, like, literally, unless you're in a siege, it's pretty much worthless to me. I will buy, I will buy steel bolts, though. Um... I think I'll wait on the crossbow. 46, 43... I'll wait on the crossbow. I'll buy the bolts. I need to turn that music down. It's actually kind of loud. Reinforced Horseman's Heater Shield. 2016, 40, 103. That's better than mine. But... It also costs nearly three grand. So I have a strategy. We'll just go back with that. I have a strategy um, for building wealth and kind of what I wanted to do as my character. And if you remember, our little home city of Glunmar is building, and it builds without, without us being there, so we can go and um, pillage. We're going to attack the yellows, because... Uh, faction relations. The yellow is currently... I'm pretty sure the yellow is the Kingdom of Nords. Um... So, yeah, if they're angry, that that's good. So, we're part of the Rodox, and I think Zwada is the purples, I think, and Vagers is the orange, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure who that is. Or if it's a per certain... It might be a certain person in the orange. Because we've raided their, their stuff so much. So... Um... So, yeah. We're going to head up here t into the yellow territory. And we should be... Pretty exempt... From most threats. But as you can see, at night we travel pr pretty slowly, but it'll pick up in the day, so that's good. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> I was gonna, like, I thought they were, uh, I, th I thought they were, like, bandits or something. I'm not gonna attack the farmers. Kingdom of Swata. Yeah, so we may as well build up their faction. So I don't know if it's still going on, 
but if you'll remember in a previous video, there was talks of a civil war in our faction. And again, I don't know if it's still going on because if you'll remember after that, I reset the save and didn't go back to find um, to find out what was going on. So we're going to harass the yellows a little bit because we're gonna ne we need some money. We also oh I forgot to check my quests. So I still have 97 days. Actually, I can turn that in. I think I have six surgeons. No, I have four. I have four surgeons. But I, the, the spearmen are probably going to be pretty close. It sucks that the surgeons don't have shields. Like... Gambeson on top of male, by the looks of it. Hmm. But apparently we have the Rodox and... Um, I think it might be the, the, the Oranges. It's either the Rodox and the Oranges or the Rodox and the... The yellows have some of the best units in the game. Not that I knew that going into the... When I was selecting what faction to go through, I actually kind of got lost. Because I started off in the yellow territory. Okay, we're going to take hostile action. We're going to loot and burn the village. Looks like some villagers got away. Okay, we're gonna take some stuff here. Don't think I'm gonna go below 250. It sucks that this these there are only two bridges here that we can't go around to the other side of our territory. Nice. Getting some pretty good stuff. Yeah, 250 was a good price to, to stop at. That's nearly perfect. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and head back to Yalin. Yeah, my army is getting expensive. 1300 a week. See, I would do... Oh, Jalegi's, uh, Jelbegi is looted. Otherwise, I would go there, but it is kind of close to a castle. We need to, we need to work on our leadership, and we also need to work on our persuasion, because our persuasion would lower prices, um, for things, and our leadership allows us to have bigger armies. And we're going to need both of those things, especially if we plan on participating in the Civil War. And the reason we want to do that is because eventually we want to be... We want to be king. Well, or queen. Holana wants to be queen. Alright, let's go to the marketplace and sell all the crap I just bought. Let's see if they got anything good. 
Holy crap. 31,519. I do... Is it Yawin? I think I actually need to build up my reputation here as well. One of the cities, it's not particularly good. Because I've been... I watched my... Um, I watched my playthrough all all the hours except for the, the the silent ones which hopefully will be coming out soon but um yeah that's so expensive even the boots 20,000 20,000 that's more than our that is so expensive how did i afford the plate armor i don't even remember because I've not I've not watched that part since that was muted. I oh, I think I said I did, but I haven't watched the muted parts. I uh, I I plan on watching those when I um bring back the other part. So, I don't remember how I bought this plate armor. But it probably cost us a pretty penny and we're going to buy back Assault. And we're gonna go to the next. So, in off camera, I have tried the the lance. Pike can't be used on horseback. That's good to know. Uh, I've tried the lance. The glaive can't be either. No, the glaive can be. It just no shield. Um, and it is incredibly hard to use couched, but 1229.91, whereas mine's 39.28.96. So, the only thing I get is one extra thrust and the swings worse so my my uh my little scythe even though it's shorter at 155 compared to 180 a whole like 25 i guess that's centimeters or maybe inches well it probably won't be inches because that would be over two feet so that's probably be centimeters <laughs> that's a that's a big difference you know that's uh, that that's over a foot. That's um, yeah, just over a foot because a, a foot's about thirty-two centimeters. So that that's a huge difference. But it's it's a lot harder to tell where it's pointed. It's a lot harder to tell. So I think I will keep my war scythe right now. And I will continue to sell my stuff because I need money. Uh, I don't mind missing out a little bit. Now, do we change Augustus? I've been thinking about that. Speed 35. So 65, 35, 32, 25. 68, 35, 32, 29. So Augustus is actually better right now, but do we start buying our companions better horses? Because I know, I know, um, Imara can, I think she has a riding level of three. And let's see, let's look at our party. Deshavi, I think, is still like one or two. So riding, yeah, Deshavi is level one, so we can't really buy her any any decent horses right now. Katrine, I think she's level three. That's not what I meant to do. Level two. So I think level two was like roughly what we started at in regards to writing and 
um, Emira has a level three, and she's only level two. So it might be worthwhile making her our cavalry commander, despite the fact. And I have gave her the glaive, and she was leading that charge in that last battle. So I may as well. I might make her the um, the cavalry commander, and I because I think I I made Metheld my cavalry commander, but I I have a feeling. In the drama between Metheld and Imara, I, 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 again, after watching the uh, previous videos, I think I'm leaning towards Imara in the conflict. But, so she has a writing of two. She's level eight, but we're making her our engineer. And we might need to make another... Uh, person engineer as well uh, just in case she wants to leave us like Rolf did in a previous episode even though again we reverted back to an earlier save but he did want to leave us after a certain time despite us like not really having much conflict but our our party morale is a lot higher now as well so Rolf was a dick so we didn't mind move, losing him so Mathelt's back up to 100%. We're gonna go ahead and move her up. And we're gonna move... Yeah, so we, we've... I think we've either paid or raised all these mercenary cavalry out from mercenary horsemen. So, yeah. And we want we want good cavalry. We might actually try to drop infantry entirely if we can. So yeah, I need to do, invest more in persuasion. Um, I do need to invest more in power draw if I want a better bow. I'm at three, that war bow required six. So it's gonna it'd be a long time before I could use it. That's why I didn't invest money into it, to it unless I do into intuition, which could speed that up a little bit. Um hmm. Like my engineer skill is three, but right now I really need to do persuasion. And maybe leadership and leadership. Every point increases maximum number of troops you can command by five. Increasing your party morale and reducing troop wages by 5%. So yeah, I definitely need to invest in persuasion and leadership. And that means we need to also invest in uh, charisma, which increases our party size, which isn't too big of a deal. Because our party size is our companions, I think. Whereas our leadership, our command size, is separate. So, maybe. But we do need... Ideally, we should be trying to get as many companions as possible. And then... The following skills... Cannot be developed beyond one of three. Prisoner management, leadership, trade. Oh, so I can't develop a, I can't develop the skills beyond a third of my charisma. So, so three. So I can only do this. Um, one more time, like leadership's all the way up in persuasion, so I do need to boost charisma. Because uh, I've been pumping into intuition because it instantly gives me those points, so I need to do charisma for sure. So, now that we've got our.
we still got a little few things to sell. Um, yeah, we'll keep that to sell. We'll keep that to sell as well. <sighs> we might go and face an attorney, but I do need to level up the spearmen. So we might go around um, Ellerda and try to hunt some forest bandits. Or I think we might go further into the um, the Nordic territory and try to hunt down some some sea raiders but yeah our king our kingdoms at a oh emira uh, leveled up our kingdoms at a surprisingly solid state right now in regards to to peace because the only people we're at conflict with is the yellows so and if you remember we were we were being double teamed by orange and purple at one point and being at the center of the map isn't ideal Let's see they got some got a lot of pretty good people Let's go. Deserters. Deserters might be a better... See, Sea Raiders usually... Halt. Um... Holy crap. I think we make a hasty retreat. I... Mm, not pleased that you decided to run from battle. To fall in battle is an honor. We would have been slaughtered! We're outnumbered, what? Uh... 140 like 3 to 1? 4 to 1? Hopefully it won't happen again, Metheld. Hopefully it won't happen again. Let's let's see who we lost. We lost some spearmen and uh, some weaker some weaker um, crossbowmen so that that's fine that's fine we lost some of our weaker units so yeah no going down here then I guess like maybe you actually try to no 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 that's a bad idea because they have a huge army there and they will, they will hop in. Maybe I'll go back to the, the forests. Guys, I've not really gone over here in this green area yet. They seem like the... Mm, I think we went there for attorney, but other than that... Anyway, let's go up to uh, Ellerda and train up some people. I wonder if I can recruit people from Orange, even though I, I probably need to do that. I, in fact, I will. I'll, I'll recruit some people from uh, Doomer, Dumber. 
So, our I think we've kind of repaired our relationship with the guy who owns Ibdella's castle, our our rival. Uh, yeah, let's recruit some volunteers. And we're going to go ahead and speak to the village elder. Because sometimes they have more, they know more people. Come on, Augustus. Okay. Um... Enemies around here. Let's see what you got. Nothing. Nothing good. Tasks. Bandits have driven away our cattle. Our pastures are empty. If you had a cattle. I really don't want to do that. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Because we have to physically hurt the cattle, it's not it's not worth our it's not worth our time. Even though I could have sworn it gave us the option to buy cattle there, so yeah, I think at our fastest we're at like a six point two or something like that. But I think that was at a down on a. Like on a hill going down or something like that. Whoa! Uh, is he... I do remember one of them complaining that there was peace, uh, that there that we were in peaceful times. So if he's causing trouble here, I might, I might talk to the king or uh actually I'll help the I'll help these purples that's probably what it is all right hello Katrine I've missed you in my very long absence from this game where are they coming from? Mercenary horsemen right up here with us. The field is ours. Eight! There was only two. Did, oh, did, did eight of them give up? Yeah, we'll capture five. Fifty gold each? That's, that's not terrible. The stuff that they're carrying is not particularly valuable, but... I guess I need to check my party and see if that's better than anyone's. Well, it's not better than mine. Probably not better than Katrine's because I gave her my old stuff. Imara, maybe? Oh no, she's got mail. 38 and 5. Mathel shouldn't be either. Looks like everyone's running mail. So. Oh, okay, I fixed to say. Holy crap, hers is pretty good. Yeah, I, I tell you what, Mithel definitely is going to get salty over me putting Imara in charge of the cavalry. So I have Katrina second in command. Um, I guess Mithel could be in charge of the infantry now. 
the Shavi is kind of like our uh, an off you know an officer, and Imara is our lead. You know, just a general officer to help help keep help fill in any gaps that we might have. Shall we help? Can we help with this battle? Or is it over? Is there like a siege over here or something? No? You know what? Um... I wonder if buying supplies from them will increase their... attitude towards us. I might try it. Buy some stuff to sell. Maybe, I wonder if I do stuff for the village elder. Because again, if we can, if we can avoid conflict with this, with these orange people and have them help us with this civil war, I, I'm, I'm down for that. Oh, there's the elder right there. Because there will be a civil war eventually. It's just, it's just a matter of when. Whether we're leading it or we're helping someone. Um, enemy, enemy. No. Tasks. Suffering greatly at the hands of a group of bandits. They take our food and livestock and kill anyone who doesn't obey them immediately. Our men are angry and cannot defend ourselves, but we are only simply farmers. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, let's train the peasants. Alright, bring it on. Let's see what you got. I'm a little rusty, so... Nothing. Ain't got nothing. I don't mind sitting here and training for a little while. Because don't forget, our guys do get experience. Alright, two of you this time. I actually really need to learn how to block again. Actually, you might need to go to a training field. Like, how do I block in the different directions? <laughs> and also, this is burning days, so our... Our village can build. I think we're building a watchtower. Oh, it's it's kind of about just like blocking at the right time, rather than blocking in the different directions. A 
lot of a lot of bandits have come past here. Like if they start a war, if that guy starts a war while I'm I'm here helping these people, I, I might like quit my vassalage. I know I would lose my city, Gunmar. I'd lose Gunmar, and Gunmar's only just started as a city, but. All right. Come on, Im Imara. <laughs> Let's go. I don't think I trained the peasants for this. These guys are well... Very well equipped. My army is doing pretty well, though. Huzzah! I did hardly anything there. Um, uh, no. Battle's over. Uh, Dushavi was wounded. I think she's our weakest fighter. But I think she's a good scouter. She's probably the reason we go as fast as we do. Actually, it might be, um, Emira. <laughs> That's good. Um. Hold, oh, that that reduced our uh, the negativity the negativity by uh, quite a lot there. So I think that was worth it. Let's see where these people are going. Your luck has run out, wretch. Prepare to die. Yeah, I wonder if I should switch out Emira's um, main weapon. Because she can't have that out. She can't have a shield out while that's out. And I don't think her secondary allows it either. I think she might have... No, I think she has a sword, so she has the option. She either has a sword or an axe.
Huzzah! <laughs> Chavi, we might need to go into town to heal. and go to Jelka, Jelkala. See if the king's there. Oh, we need something to eat. do dried meat. Forty nine. I think all our all our people were in the fifties. All that below there is to sell. Oh, we might keep the highest one just in case. 23, 24. Yeah, we'll keep this one just in case. But we do need more food. We'll do smoked fish as well. Better be safe than sorry. All right, let's go to the castle. See if anyone's here. Nope. Um. Do they have guild masters here? Are you the guild master? You're a weaponsmith. Balanced one handed battle axe. Hmm. I've thought about doing javelins. Damage 39. Compared to my 24. But it's only a few of them. So probably not. Yeah, nothing really... Nothing really good here. What are people talking about? Uh, nothing new lately. Prices, war, the weather, same old thing. That's, I guess that's pretty good. See what a, what the, see, I've never really explored any of these towns. See what these, um, they're the horse merchants. Armorer. Door to the shop. Oh, it's locked. Well, we might stay the night. Heal our heal our people. go in the shop now. Uh, 
This is so cool. I can't believe I've never done it before. Okay, you're the other your general goods. Cool. Oh, it's got another floor. Well, I guess this is probably where he sleeps. Yep. Oh, where'd Augustus go? This doesn't really matter. As long as I get him back. I guess this is the tavern. Yep. Hello. I wish you could, like, run faster. Like, I keep on pressing shift, but it, you know, it just does that. Uh, nothing. That, that's something that this game, because of its age, it, like, has, like, it has more, like, it acts like it has more, but there are, there are limitations. Mercenary Cavalry. I think I can hire you now. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Marnid. Uh, be so kind to have a cup with me. I've done my last five... I'm down to my last five dinars and I'd rather not drink alone. Your last five dinars, what happened to you? It's a tragic tale, sir. Well, that's uh, that's a ma'am. Thank you. A while back, I left, or it might be sire, I guess, because I am a lady now. Uh, I left Gorgoria with a caravan of goods. I was hoping to sell it in Sargoth and make a hefty sum. But what do you know? They're ambushed by a party of... Karjeet raiders who rode away with most of the horses and goods last um, two days later my own caravan guards ran away with the rest of what I had it's either Katrine or Deshavi that's from there so that might be interesting in the, in the drama front uh, I'll offer you some work not a warrior by trade. I'm a fast learner. That'll do. Okay. Well, I'm glad I kept that armor for you then. Let's... Uh, barkeep. Buy some wine for people. I, I do need to increase my... Um, people's difference that their their appeal towards me because if I start a civil war um or I join one I need I'm gonna need allies I'm gonna need allies so it's all part of it let's go to the arena hello tournament master good to see you again tournaments held in Rivacek and Tahirum okay Rivacek and Tahirum Um, Rovacek and Dehirim. Let's look at Dehirim. So, where's Dehirim? I think... Oh, yeah, we might, uh... Yeah, we'll do that. We do need to do the surgeons, though, but we still have like 97 days. And we only need three more. So two veteran spearmen, so that'd be six. So if as long as we don't go get in into any stupid fights, we should be good. 
Um, we also need some... We'll just do the split again. Oh, I need to talk to... A, um... Someone that can buy my prisoners. I think, is there one in Praven? We might check up on Gunmar after this. I don't think they'll be quite done. They shouldn't be done yet. But it's been a little while, so I should be able to get taxes from them. Okay. I do love this game, even though a lot of it is literally just waiting around. Alright, let's go to the arena. Oh. Oh, let's join a tournament. Okay. View participants. So, me, Katrine, Deshavi, um, Imara, Matheld, Marnid. I don't think he's going to do that well. Lord uh, Devlin. Cardis, Zarina, I think we faced her before. I'm not sure about Cardis. Hired Blades and weaker people. All right. Let's get some money. All right, let's go to the next round. Gotta, gotta prioritize this cavalry. That's just way too dangerous. I do need to get my, my, um... My strength up because I think that's why I've got such a wide reticle on that oh thank you I think that's why I got such a wide reticle on that bow I'm using there we go that's the first round he was knocked out Katrine the Chevy. The Chevy's the only person from our party left. Alright. Place a bet on myself. Fight in the next round. Let's go. If I stick near a wall. So green only has one combatant, but they have a horse. Which is a huge advantage. Alright, now hopefully this will be an even fight. That was a narrow block. Come on, my dude, come on. I need your help. Whew. 
Ooh, that was close. And there goes to Shavi, who are the last ones on our party left. We're the only named character left, too. That means we have this one in the bag. Oh, man, so many... Calvary. Again, if I stay near the wall, hopefully that should... Okay, I'm red. Nearly shot my own dude. I should be one of the best archers alive. So... They're down. You got a lance like that, as soon as you're on the floor, you're dead. Alright. Place a bet on myself. I th did we forget to do that, that to do that the last round? Oh nice. I thought it was that guy firing at me, but it's not. It's just this dude. Huzzah! <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. All right. So you didn't try. Again! Giving them the cavalry and giving me the... Not... Not, not a horse. Ow. Man, you're... freaking breaking your back there, my dude. Victory! Victory! And a nice, hefty pocket full of money. Hope. Did it, it, it didn't even tell me how much I won, did it? I don't remember it telling me. Um. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love tourneys. Okay. I leveled up, so I do need to increase my charisma. And I will go ahead and invest one in persuasion. And deserters, they're, run they're running from me. Actually, let's go to the tavern, see if you have... You 
probably the most interesting looking person I've seen. Hey look, it's Rolf! <laughs> We're not re-recruiting him. We're not re-recruiting Rolf, as you can see. He's still naked from when we uh, stripped him of all of his equipment, except for an extremely shitty sword. Um, Kalithi. Hello, I can't help noticing that you came into town at the head of a company of soldiers. Are you by a chance looking for new hands? Could be, what's your story? Well, madame, as long as I can remember, I've had a weakness for pretty things, and it's gotten me into trouble, you see. I grew up in Mal... Maliarg Castle as a bonded servant. Ooh. Pretty common for those times, though. Working alongside my mother in the kitchens, I would amuse myself by hunting mice through the pantries and the sculleries. Interesting. I was so good at it that I pulled the... I put the castle's cats out of the job, and eventually the lord realized that I might be employed to track down bigger game. Might also be employed to track down bigger game. On certain errands of a type perhaps better left unsaid. Mmm, your assassin. Needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of trinkets that had formerly belonged to my lord's enemies, so I was able to buy myself out of bondage and hire as a free agent. My last job was in Deharim. We've, I think we've been there on a... Um, for a tournament before. Unfortunately, my last employer's wife had a lovely amulet of a kind. I simply couldn't resist. She doesn't know it's missing yet, but she might soon. So tell me, are you looking for helpers? I might, I might be, what can you do? Well, madam, let me tell you. I may not know how to read and write, but I know the quickest way to a man's heart is between his fourth and fifth rib. Nice, if you understand me. I can throw knives, so she she can throw. Rolf could throw. Maybe I should get Rolf back. He was really annoying, though. He would he would be really low on my tier, and so far all my uh, commanders, except for all of my party members, except for one, are women. And uh, he he's new, and he's not causing any drama yet, so. Uh, yeah, they sound, sound pretty good to me. Well, how about you, Rolf? Should I take you back? Good to see you, madame. To tell you the truth, I'd hope to run into you. I went back to my ancestral barony to inspect my lands. So if you remember, Deshavi told us that he was essentially a fraud. He was a leader of some bandit group. And, um, so, yeah. Uh, but we had locusts to see, and bad rains, and other things, so here I am again looking for work. Would you want me to rejoin your company? Like, last time he left us without any warning. And I don't want to invest in equipment in someone. Especially since I would have to be buying it. Uh, nah. Yeah, no, you you did this to yourself. Welcome, um, Kalefi. I, I like I, I'm trying not to call you Khalifa, but Kalefi. Hired blade. How much? How much do you cost? Five of you for a thousand twenty nine. You know what? We just won that tourney. You're welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Let's not do that. Let's. Visit the tavern. Did we buy booze here? I, I know we just came from here. I can. Yeah, we must have. Okay. So, go to the marketplace. Go ahead and sell the, these tools here. Um, <gasps> if I press the right button, that is. Let's see. Let's have a look at our new Marnid um, and Kalethi here. 
hope you don't mind your leadership under Mathelde. But, you know. Let's see. Let's have a look at your equipment. Dress isn't up to much. You can have that. Daggers, throwing knives. Boots are okay. Daggers and throwing knives. Might want to get a shield for her. Let's have a look at... Marnid. Holy crap, you've got... What are your skills at? Inventory management. Iron Flesh, Weapon Master, Athletics, 2 in Writing, which isn't terrible, Wound Treatment, First Aid, Leadership, and Trade. Ah, hmm. Maybe he'll be our, like, negotiator. The Negotiator! If he behaves. Because, again... We're, we're kind of indifferent between Metheld and uh, Imara. Kind of leaning towards Imara, but uh, we kind of understand their positioning. Rolf was just being an absolute douche um, to everyone, so... Yeah. So... Let's have a look. I don't think any of my spearmen can level up. I'll definitely level up my cavalry. I need to really go to a place that has a... Let's go to this castle and see if we can sell off these prisoners. We might need to go to purple if there are caravans are running from us, but maybe they do that if they're not ours. Approach the gates and hail the guard. Request entry. Cool, that means we are on really good terms. Um, you know what, we're, we're just gonna leave. Uh, we'll go to Praven. Hope that there's one there. If not, we might try to go to another tournament to get some more money. Uh, Jurub. I'd imagine that's on our... Okay, that's... That's yellow. We might actually help out with that. Because, don't forget, Gunmar is really close. Like, not like super close. It, it, it has some protection. But it, it is close to... A little too close for comfort. So, we'll, we'll actually check out Praven. And, um... Go there and try to help out our king. Ransom broker. Okay, got prisoners to sell. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to Chobagi to help our king. I think that's a little bit of a long way around, but I think it would have been faster to go up here. We'll have to try not to get into any fights.
and hopefully the king will have weakened it enough for us to actually be effective in the siege. And hopefully we don't lose too many people on the battle. Uh, that's the only thing about these these sieges is risking your higher skilled soldiers, especially when you need to raise them up. Let's. Uh... Okay, it doesn't look like the siege is going on anymore. Unless it wasn't this castle. Either way, let's have a look at Glunmar. Let's see how our little town is progressing, and I think we'll end this episode. And then we might go hunting for deserters or bandits to arm up our new party members so we don't have to spend too much money because I'm trying to save up money not only to build up Glunmar but to build up reputation now because reputation is is what I need going forward I can't just count on having a big army because they can have m multiple big armies okay 471 from taxes no, that's not too bad um, tower is going to be finished in 28 days. Let's recruit some volunteers. And let's go to the village center. Let's, let's have a look at it. So this is our village. We've, we've never actually looked on it on the inside. Hello, village elder. How goes my lands? Any tasks I can help with? Bandits have driven away our cattle. <sighs> I really don't want to, but you know what? For you, I will. Just because this is my city, I need to take. I need. I need to take care of my peeps. Dogs in the game, by the way. So this is the watchtower I've been building. Looks pretty done. At least I think it is. The watchtower, I mean. Not nearly done. I think then after this... I think we'll go school... Then messengers. Not that I think they'll be under attack anytime soon, but I, w I want to be able to get back to the village if I can. If they are under attack, but... Either way, we are ending it on this stunning moonlit night. Thank you for watching the continued adventures of Alana. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, maybe check out my other stuff up here. If you didn't, let me know. I, I'm looking into doing other stuff as well. Maybe changing up the way I do this series. Uh, maybe a little bit more punchy. But I'm, either way, until then, I'll see you there. Bye. <laughs>